Hey guys, Purple Lizard here. Today I'm going to be completing the three part series that are pitting the turbocharger versus against the twin screw supercharger against the centrifugal supercharger. Today I'm going to be doing the centrifugal supercharger and I will try and see if I can figure out how to link, leave, put links to the descriptions of the previous two videos in the description. If you have not seen the other two, I'll make sure I will try and figure out to, how to put those in there. And if I if they're in there, I figured it out. If they're not, I didn't. And if I didn't figure it out, if someone would please lo like to tell me in the comments how to, that would be greatly appreciated. So anyway, out of the um, technical stuff, um, today now let's get down to the business. So anyway, it's a nice smoky start as I usually have at this tra this track with the um, big giant centrifugal supercharger that weighs just the same but is as much less performance. How does everybody like my new paint my um my paint scheme? I think it's uh, it's really this paint scheme. I think it really what it is. It depends on the car. It's not, on some cars, it looks great. Like examples, Dodge Viper is one of them. My Shelby, my um, Mustang, my 2000 Mustang Cobra. And uh, just to name a few. I know there are some others. I can't read up the Hey. The other cars that just look plain horrible with that paint job. I'm not gonna lie, there's quite a few of them. I have not had, I'm not planning on taking the time and going through all 60 some of my, of my cars and giving them all this paint job because I don't feel like spending five minutes time. I don't feel like spending 60 hours, or no, five hours painting cars. I mean, probably I'll probably have it shaved down by about half by the end of it. But some cars are different. Like I have to adjust the um, the pinstripes. Though it takes a good bit of time actually to put the pinstripes on these car on this car. Hard under braking. I just noticed something. It looks like the um the audit in that shot when I was back there. It looked sad. It looked like it. Right now, it looks like it's scared or something. I I don't. That car doesn't look. The car looks like looks like. It's, <gasps> that's why I'm getting the effect of from that bumper. Flat out through the follow through the for the final time in this series. I think. Yeah, this is the this is the second half for the final time this series. Through the last two, through the final big breaking zone for the final time in this series. Through the last corner for the final time in this series. And across the line for the final time in this series. Okay. The times. For the turbocharger in the standing start, a 131 120. For the screw charger, a 13885. For the centrifugal supercharger, the one uh, had a 13810. It took the win in the 
in the la racing or laps and the turn and in third place in the hot lap we have the centrifugal supercharger in second place we have the screw charger occupied both position uh, occupied both second places which is probably why I would rather do it because it gets you good pos finishing position in either race in both the first and the second one and for the hot lap the twin the turbocharger wins by no small margin with almost a full second between it and the supercharger anyway now let's get to the drag racing so let's watch this one And across the line for the final time in this series. Sorry if I got a little bit loud. Okay, for the drag times. Taking third place, we have the Centrifugal Supercharger. Taking second place, we have the Turbocharger. And I. With our centrifugal had a 11.254, the turbo had 11.199, and the screw charger took the win with an 11.054. Thanks for watching. If you are, that would be it. Oh, okay. Ignore that last bit. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this and comparison tests, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.